What's up, guys? Welcome back to our Dark Aether grind here on my second account. And in our last video, our top comment was from Uwu Master 420. At least there's a 420 in there. And he said he wants us to get the Iron Hide Dark Aether on any map of our choice, but he gave us some attachments to use. Hopefully, they're they're fast. But if you want to leave a suggestion, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I'll have a comment there as well with what guns that we have completed. Uh, sometimes I forget to put it there, so uh, please be patient. But uh, make sure you read that before leaving your own suggestions so we don't get repeat guns. All right, so he says to use the eight round mag, the shotgun stock, not personally what I would have went with, the reinforced heavy barrel, Tiger Team spotlight, and the drop shot wrap. Oh, it actually increases fire rate. Okay. Actually, I think that sprint to fire uh, stock might work here. Now let's look at our camel progress. I have 900 out of 2,500 for our rotten kills. We only have 273 crits out of 2,500 crits. 569 kills. Let's go. Out of 2,500 pack punch kills. Our vintage is done. Our fauna, we're over halfway. Topo, we're just getting started in infection. We got to work on. We got quite a bit to do today with basically the ZRG of shotguns. What field upgrade am I going to use? Tesla Storm might work i don't want to get kills with it though aether shroud could be good for just reloading it i feel like i'm going to switch between tesla and aether shroud maybe i'll use aether shroud to start but he said i can play any map and we've been playing a lot of forsaken and mauer and i don't want to try to fight order with this thing so i know it's not going to do anything so let's go ahead and hop on d machine and get this thing done all right here we go flying on in with the iron hide for what's about to be one of the longest recordings i've done in a bit last time we did this it took me so long and i had keyboard and mouse same where i feel more confident in my ability to get headshots Ooh, a level up on our first kill here but here on controller when we are getting this leveled up in outbreak uh, we do some streams getting this thing leveled we play some open lobbies with you guys i was feeling like i could not hit a single headshot maybe round base will be different but at least here in these early rounds i'm gonna take advantage of them not really being too much of a threat as i missed that shot jeez what i don't understand how that wasn't a headshot i feel like this game tries to to piss me off it's trying to show me like hey this is this is gonna be you're gonna be in this for the long haul but i think i'm gonna stay in here till i have enough cash to go ahead and move on to getting power on and i'm thinking we're gonna have to like train for most of this game like we're gonna have to stay up here and spawn because this is not really a weapon that you can sit in a corner with and just grind camos this one's gonna be all about just trying to stay alive i don't know maybe with this fire rate let's check it out Ooh, not that great maybe it'll be faster with a little speed cola maybe pack a punch will be faster as well if we can get that that fire rate up a little bit th this could be uh, used with ring of fire but uh -huh, i'm not seeing it right now all right i think we got enough cash we got two zombies left so i'm gonna start making my way towards power i'm also completely out of ammo but i am not gonna buy any because i know the second that i do a max ammo is about to drop i'm not gonna let the game get me i'll take this loose change though Go ahead, lay down. There we go. Let's open up this way. Loose change from Speed Cola. Pop this open. Pop this open. Grab this loose change and hit the button. Now let's turn on this terminal and this one. And now let's hop in the anomaly. All right, now let's head back up. Let's go grab our machine part. But on the way, I'm going to hit these crystals for some ammo. I'm going to do some extreme couponing with ammo here in these first few rounds. I'm going to be stingy with my points. Oh no, please don't tell me this is the time where I don't get any ammo from these. There we go. Right, let's head down through the tunnel. Do my pack punch part. Thank you. I'm gonna grab this loose change from Deadshot, but we'll be right back to grab it once we have enough points. Now let's go ahead and start up the pack punch machine. Easiest pack a punch out there. All right, hellhounds or plague hounds, whatever you are, discount hellhounds. Still just as annoying in this game. So get out of here and give me my max ammo, please. There you go. Thank you. Oh, uh, we got a Megaton spawning already. What's up, buddy? Nice weather we're having. I'm actually about to Aether Shroud and just get some free crits. Hopefully. Actually, it's not looking like it. I can't aim. Oh! Hey, Megaton. How's it going? Didn't realize you were right next to me. Only dropped some double points for me. I'll take those all day. Just keep bringing me the crits. Get them over here. Oh, and bonus points too. They're just feeding me money. So I'm going to take this time to go down and uh, go buy Deadshot. Definitely need it sooner rather than later. We're only at 80 crits out of 108 eliminations. Actually, not that bad for the Ironhide, but I could definitely be doing better. Grab Speed Cola. Grab Deadshot. Megaton, get hurdled. And actually, let's go ahead and do the Jug Easter Egg. Let's get three perks this round. There's one. Hopefully. I couldn't see the Megaton was shooting me at the same moment. There's two. I wonder if this can reach this, the one up all the way up in this corner. I think it can. Four. Oh, that's three. Jeez, this one's four. And last one. Perfect. Easy Easter egg. What's up, fellas? Nice to see you. I'll be taking this. And uh, I'm going to go check on your crystals while you guys are dancing down here. Oh, a monkey bomb. I guess I'll take that. Oh, no. No, I'm not done breaking the crystals yet. Wait. 
I actually get an RPG out of that? That's crazy. All right, but ray gun out of this though. Oh no, another RPG. Okay, I'll take Jug though. Also, I'm still seeing people say that the little smiley face or whatever on those boxes correlates to what ammo you get or what kind of weapon drop you get. I think that's been debunked like a while ago. I think that just cycles through all like the player colors. Could be wrong though. Deadshot on this thing, beautiful. There's our Sunder camo. We're getting our, our crits up. I'm not touching that insta kill. Oh, blue tiger camo as well. And entropathy, let's go. I'm switching out the monkey bomb for a decoy. They do the same thing. It's a monkey bombs will take my camos away and decoys will help me get them. Oh, got out of ammo. This is the perfect time to go get pack a punch. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and throw cryo on here as well. Wait a minute. Where's my pack a punch camo? I didn't knife it or anything. I have no blueprint on. Did it not put a pack a punch camo on this? Uh, okay. I was gonna say this is what it looks like pack a punch one, but it doesn't even look like it's pack a punch. Like it's, it's just iron hide. That sucks. I swear I didn't knife the pack a punch machine. Maybe I did when we're putting it together. Oh well. Well, while we're over here, let's go ahead and upgrade this to green and blue. And that's all I can upgrade, actually. So never mind. Come on, zombies. Bring it here. I got a double points, too. Not another dog round. Jeez. That's two within, like, the last six rounds. Contamination camo, though. Rising tiger camo. Let's go. I think we're all done with our 10 kills rapidly. And this thing's not doing that bad damage-wise. Speed-wise, it also feels pretty good. Like, this isn't that terrible. But since this is not feeling that slow, like, this is actually a really good build. So shout out, Uhu Master. Uh, I think I might switch to Ring of Fire. I don't like wasting my field upgrades when I have them. So this round, I'm going to use them, get some easy crits on zombies that can't see me. And then uh, we'll go ahead and switch to Ring of Fire. And I think I'm going to go to try to open the Speed Cola room and see if I can hide out in there for a little bit. Anything to make this grind a little faster. All right, so let's use our first Aether Shroud. Ooh. Okay, well, if the, the Ring of Fire... Uh, experiment does not work with this. Aether Shroud works pretty well for getting those crits. I, I guess I can still get those crits like without Aether Shroud, but it's just nice not having the zombies run at you. And they all kind of like group up too. It's like a, a decoy. Let's go ahead, switch to Ring of Fire. There we go. And let's start building it up and see if we can get that to work. We also got 18,000 now, so I should probably start working on uh, getting some perks. I guess I'll sit up here in Penthouse. Oh, there's our glitch camo. We're one away from getting all of our jackrabbits done. At least I'm pretty sure. We gotta be close at the very least. Oh, there's our Wonder Fist. Perfect. We came up here at the right round. Okay, let's get quick revive just because we're gonna need that. Uh, mule kick. We'll get death perception. Uh, stamina up. And we have all like the essential perks, at least for grinding. Oh, and we also have a ring of fire. So I'll wait till like some zombies start coming in, or at least more than what we got. And I'll try it out. All right, let's do it. I'm low on ammo. Not that bad. Uh, high round, definitely gonna get me killed here, but we got our downfall camo, 750 kills with it. Oh, Flycon, what's up, dude? Gone. There's our conviction camo. And we might as well just get PhD in case I got a nade to save myself. Okay, a little low on ammo here. Gotta run around. Gotta build up to that next ring of fire. This is why I don't like penthouse. I feel like I, I don't know what to do here once I start getting low. Let's ring of fire here. Okay, not good. Very not good. Thing gonna go down. I went down. I'm back up though. Don't worry about me. This is why I do not use penthouse. I am too ass. Okay. Yep. Not doing it. Let's get our perks back. At least some of them. And I'm switching back to Aether Shroud. That was a good run, Ring of Fire. You did great. I could have naded to save myself, but I really just can't use or bring myself to using nades and stuff when I'm grinding camos. I like turn that section of my brain off. I'm like, nope, if I nade them, that's kills I'm missing out on. Can't do that. But also, if I die, that's kills I'm missing out on. So, we'll catch 22. All right, Megaton, let's talk about this, okay? I'm leaving. We can talk about it outside. It's doing good damage against them. Like he's already splitting. That's not bad. Honestly, last time I used this gun, it was a lot worse. I think I had an awful build for it. And on top of that, I had to do it twice. My camo progress got reset on it. I was pissed. Doing pretty good right now, though. Except these guys need to leave. Goodbye. See ya later. Loser. Get out of my lobby. And a dog round. Beautiful. Our third one in 18 rounds. I don't know why they, they are so frequent. All they really do is waste time. And let's grab Death Perception back and Quick Revive. Let's get the hell out of here. Pretty soon I should head down. Well, once we get enough for Pack-a-Punch, I'm going to head down. See if we can upgrade our gun at all and our armor. Both of them need that. But we just got this to max level. Not bad. But for now, we're just going to be training constantly. Forever. So I think the plan here is I'm going to train until I'm out of ammo like this. I'm going to Aether Shroud to get that ammo back and then continue killing the zombies as long as I'm hitting my shots. And then we can just keep recycling that until we get Dark Aether. Oh, Bloodshed Camo, let's go. I almost just died there, don't worry about it. That was completely on purpose. I knew I had another Aether Shroud to burn. And our Boundary Camo, 750 crits, not too bad. 
And we got enough to go pack a bunch. So let's go do that. Hopefully we get the camo this time, but something tells me we won't. Let's grab it. Yeah, no camo. Weird. Maybe I'll have to knife it. Okay. So maybe we'll get pack three camo, but don't get to see any of the pack a punch camo so far. Let's go ahead, upgrade this thing to purple, get armor level two and three, and we need to get out of here. We got a Megaton coming, and I don't want to be caught down here with them. Ooh, double points. They're dropping a lot of double points for me today. Okay, so I've noticed this for a while, and I'm sure you guys have too, but like when you Aether Shroud, zombies will all run to specific areas. Like they have it mapped out of like, if the zombie is here, send them here during Aether Shroud, like during solo or whatever, because I'm sure in, in, in multiplayer, they'll just go against uh, the next closest player. But if I Aether Shroud while over here, the zombies will run, all run into Noct. But if I go over here in Aether Shroud, if I stand by this tree and I Aether Shroud, they'll all line up right here where the Plague Hound's going. So if I do that, it'll make getting crits a lot easier because I don't have to chase them inside and I won't get cornered. So a little quick tip quickie for those of you out there working on the Iron Hide. I almost just died running right into that tree. So don't do that part of it. But that's what I'm going to be doing for the rest of this grind. Seems like a pretty useful strat. And I forgot to get some perks back. So let's get Stamina up back. Let's get PhD. Might as well just get Tombstone the way I'm playing. I'll save the rest for pack three. All right, we got more than enough for pack three. A little late to be getting it, but we'll try it. And we knifed it last time we were at the pack punch machine. So if that was the problem, hopefully this fixes it. It does. Let's go. All right, so we haven't been able to see it with the other pack punch camos, but this is what it looks like with pack three. The only important camo here, pack three looks beautiful on it. Very nice. The coverage doesn't look too bad. This is kind of like a sneak peek of what Dark Aether will look like, I guess, or at least the coverage of it. So not bad. Not too shabby. Oh, there's our drench camo, 1500 kills while it's pack a punch. Let's go. Hopefully we're approaching that on our crits. Because we're not doing too bad on crits. 892 out of uh, 1100. I mean, that's not awful, but we are a little far off from our eliminations. Also, I'm pretty sure I have enough to go ahead and upgrade this thing fully. So I'm going to do that. There we go. Now it's gold. This is the max amount of damage we're going to be able to do with it. Things fully upgraded. Pack three and gold. I might just start crafting uh, decoys. Just to make this thing go a little faster. This is such a drag to do. It's taking so long. Decoys are helping out a bit, though. I'll tell you what. Oh, there's that threshold camo. We're finally at 1,500 crits. We're at 2,227. We'll be done. Hopefully. That's a long way to go from here. Oh, but there's our rotten camo. All done with normal kills. I really wish crits were, were just faster with this thing. Not bad in our ratio, though. I mean, 400 away. Not the greatest, but with this gun, we're, we're doing pretty well. We're doing, we're doing good. Oh, there's our chemical camo. All done with kills with pack a punch. Only took till round 39, but we're done. And I guess while we're here, we'll do a little check-in. Uh, we have 1,716 crits out of 2,212 kills. We're keeping on pace. We're almost there. Should be done within the next, like, I don't know, eight rounds. Still gonna take a while, though. Oh, there it is. There we go. Finally. It's completely done. Oh, that took so long. It took an hour and 46 minutes just in this game to get Gold Viper. Jeez. But there we go. 2,229 crits. I'm done. Zombies, take me away. Get me out of here. End the suffering. Oh, that game took forever. Let's tombstone real quick. Oh, wow. That's far away. Okay. Took us 44 rounds. Normally, not that bad, but this gun... Although we do have like the probably the best uh, fast firing iron hide, like the best build for it, it, it still just takes forever. It, it, it just takes millennia to get all these headshots because each round was taking me probably about like 12 minutes total, which is insane. But we did end up going down uh, three times, two times there at the end. So basically one time during our grind. Not that bad. All right, let's take a look at what the iron hide looks like with these mastery camos. Here is gold viper. Not that bad pretty nice the barrel's not covered at all but everything else none of the it's all basically where the wood would be on the on this shotgun that's all gold viper not bad and there's no wear on it unlike the the street sweeper so pretty nice plague diamond you know plague diamond always goes hard a whole bunch of diamonds on this thing it's looking real great not a bad looking gun and dark aether Ah, uh, that, yeah, I'll take it. That's not bad. Looking pretty snazzy. Now let's go ahead and hop into game and see what it looks like there. All right, this is what the Iron Hide looks like with Dark Aether. This thing does not look bad at all. It actually has a really good amount of coverage on it. A fat amount of the gun is Dark Aether. Even if the metal parts aren't, I feel like it gives it a good contrast. Not too much. It's looking real good. It seems like here near like the trigger where you... Actually, never mind. I was going to say the pattern doesn't really hit that part. I guess it's still not. But right in, like over the, the lever and everything, it seems like the bright pink and purple doesn't really go there. It, it's, oh, I guess it's starting to drift there. Okay. 
Well, I guess this is what happens when you have a, a longer weapon. No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> when you have a longer weapon like this, it takes a while for the whole pattern to go across it. And I guess we kind of just missed it right there with the Chaco Lantern. But either way, not a shabby looking gun. Definitely could have been a lot worse. So there you have it. We got the iron hide done. Uh, it might have taken us near two hours to get done, but you know we got it. But that is it for all of our shotguns. We have no more shotguns left to do on this account. So I'll still have that comment down below. Hopefully I remember after I'm done editing and uploading it to put it there. But we got a lot of other fun weapons to do here. So make sure you leave your suggest. Jeez, I hit my mic. Make sure you leave your suggestions down below. And uh, that's where I'm going to wrap up today's video. So if you guys like this, you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't dislike, if you're new here, please start subscribe and put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. That's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.